Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Game Thoughts. That is a truly epic climax, I must say. The, the, yeah, so, so it asks you to shoot your way through, you know, several stories of a building. You've got to put out some fires. You know, there's there's a boss fight, there's a chase without damaging, you know, the car. Then you gotta drive by with you as the shooter. Yeah, that's that's huge and really asks you to do a lot of things that you've perfected over the course of the game. And, you know, bring ammo into into Big Smoke's, you know, drug den. That's, yeah, and, and you gotta run out of a, you know, a gradually exploding building. I literally, I mean, I completed the entire mission on, you know, the, the first try. But, when I was rushing out of the building, I was so certain that I hadn't made it. It was like two seconds or something, and I was seeing like the, the little square that's the goal. You know, a couple of steps in front of me, I was like, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, am I gonna have to shoot my way through this entire building again? and just barely made, CJ jumps out, and then you realize this mission's not over. I gotta chase down, and, and Sweet jumps on the thing, and you have to avoid him getting, and then a cop gets up there and tries stepping on the fingers while you're just, you're trying to get close with Molotovs being thrown because of the huge riot, because Tenpenny did not get sent to jail, and you know, you've got just people shooting at your car, you just gotta make it all the way there, and it's just, it's so satisfying when you, when you complete it, and it's a great close to, to the game, you know, you find out that Mad Dog got a gold record, you know, this whole thing of, you know, Big Smoke was kind of you know, you might almost say he was what CJ could have become if he genuinely did not come back and he did not genuinely want to be back and to help. I mean, he, you know, he gets lost a little there in, in the middle of the story until Sweet gets out of jail and then he gets, you know, the Sweet comes back and CJ's like, but I got responsibilities and Sweet is like, I knew it, I knew you were gonna run away and CJ's like, Okay, you know what? I'm down for you. You, we're we're gonna do this, and he proves himself again. So it's it's great that kind of, you know, and all these times you see big smoke with with, you know, the the crash, cops coming out of his place, and it's like ah, oh, they just won't stop, you know, hassling me. Yeah, big smoke. That's why they're there. You know, it's it's not that you're, you know. I guess that's how he got so fat, you know, he, he was, yeah, getting getting helped by them. And every time you hear him on the radio, you just want to kick his teeth in when he's like, I'm doing my, you know, I'm doing what I can to, I'm doing my part to keep this city drug free, how about you? And it's just, ah, oh, you son of a... I do love when, when Laszlo was interviewing O.G. Lo. I mean, that entire interview is just priceless. When he says, you know, and his manager, you know, Smoke has certainly done a lot for the community, or to it. That cracks me up every single time. And that entire thing with, you know, it, maybe, I mean, I could get on the floor on my back and, you know, we can break dance. I mean, I'm, I'm down. I, I like walking, too. <laughs> Oh, Laszlo, you're so white. You, you're so not gangsta, at least. I'm not certain if, if he's white, but yeah. And and the thing with, you know, I'm, I'm from the street. Look, 
Everybody has a street in front of their house. That's not something to be proud of. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I mean, all of the, all of the radio stuff, especially Laszlo, is just, is a ton of fun. I love that they literally had Wesley, you know, yeah, I'm not going to explain that, because if you don't get that, you, yeah. Anyway, Wesley literally talking to, like, you know, someone who's a retired kid actor, and he's like, what was it, 54 years old, you know, and... And he takes one to the nads and speaks in, in a high-pitched voice, you know, and yeah, that's just, that's just very satisfying. And I, I'm sure that he realized that it would be, so yeah. And, and the new stuff in general is, is a lot of fun. The, the very skewed stuff, I love how the Epsilon, what is it, tract or t something, is either a massive conspiracy that secretly runs the government and Los Santos, or it's an idea whose time has come. It couldn't possibly be anything in between. That's that's good fun. And and the radio stuff. I love that the romance host literally has a stalker. That's just that's that's perfect. That is wow. Yeah. And and you know, Fernando with you know are you a man with a fire in a fire in his heart and a hole in his pants i think is the how did you know <laughs> yeah a man leaves a mark wow wow and and the whole thing yeah and and of course he charms her by by the end i love the the alternate rock you know host Who's you know, you know, what was it? Sage? Sage is her name, and she like you know openly and calmly talks about there's a revolution going on that out there, and I it is time that we start killing people. It's just wow. It's just we're all we're the alternative. Alternative to what? I don't know. Just yeah, and and. The, the, the announce the announcements you know with the you know WCTR dedicated to bringing you shows like World Traveler even if we've received a cease and desist and and you know I say you say is only heard on WCTR be thankful <laughs> and and the you know you've got the in there parodying both the liberal and the the right wing you know from the right and the wrong side <laughs> of politics, you know, the, that whole thing was a lot of fun with, you know, ah, men are just, you're all so pathetic, and yet you married me, ah, don't remind me, I was desperate. You said you liked me in that donkey costume, oh, shut up. <laughs> the, the, yeah, it's just a, a lot of fun, I love Hans. You 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 do not know this music if unless I teach it to you. You are like helpless. You are like a, a plastic baby. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly it, Hans. That is you you hit the nail on the head that one with that one. And just yeah, the overall plot. This thing of you know Cesar, <laughs> the bit where Sweet keeps getting his you know making fun of it, you know, because it's a Latino, and, yeah, and, and the name, you know, his name is not, what is it, Rodriguez, or, you know, that stuff, and then, you know, yeah, and, and you meet him, and you've got that whole thing of, you know, CJ's like, stay away from my sister, and he's like, no, look, I love this woman, and I, you know, I'm gonna protect her, I'm gonna take care of her, and you've got that whole thing, you know, CJ's almost getting in trouble there, and, you know, Cesar really does have to work to prove to CJ that he means business, and Cesar, you know, really puts himself out there. He's like, no, if if Kendall says he good, then he good, you know. So, yeah, and the whole thing. I love seeing Ken Rosenberg again. You know, Rosie. No, no, Rosie's a man. You know, Rosie. How is it? I'm completely. I just. It, it could. Things couldn't be worse. 
I'm I'm gonna die any second now, you know, and then a little later, oh, so, so now you're, you know, oh, things are much better, it's just, you know, I, I got a hit and it's uh, fantastic. So things are better, oh no, no, they're just as bad as before, but now I'm at least clear-headed about it. It's, and the whole thing, I love the whole thing with, what is it, the, the Sindaco, I think we're gonna go with Sindaco, the, you know, Joey Sindaco. First he's like, you know, messing up the, the Four Dragons place, and you, you know, you gotta find out who he is, so, you know, strapped to the hood of the car, and you're just driving around to scare him, and, you know, he ends up in the hospital, and, you know, you find, you know, Joey Sendako's boss's son, you're gonna be sorry about this, you know, and then later, you gotta work for, for Ken, and you gotta, you know, intercept the ambulance so that the others don't kill Joey Sendako, and, you know, you get into the ambulance, and you're like, okay, I hope he doesn't wake up, and he starts to wake up, and you just barely get the ambulance back to the meat plant, drop him off, you know, get, you know, get back out of there, and then finally Ken has to go and talk to the Sendakos, and CJ's like, you know what, you go on ahead, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be out here, and, get, and, and he's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna need you in there, and Carl's like, okay, I, I guess, I'll come in, you know, and, and Joey gets up. Oh, how are you, Joey? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, you know, frames the, the wheelchair into the into the door. I still haven't gotten a hold of this thing. You know, he goes, oh, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I, I actually ate and I, I slept. You know, I mean, I, I still have some night terrors, but that's him. That's the guy. That's... And he collapses and... I'm sorry, that's just, that's funny, and they're all just, well, that just happened, and then you and Ken gotta get out of there, and you have to shoot your way out, and Ken's just, well, he's putting out some fires, you know, and this whole thing, was it something I said? No, 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 you know what, it's, it's my fault, don't even worry about it, and thankfully Ken never realizes what actually happened there, but, yeah, that's just, that's funny. I, I love how they built up to that with several missions to, yeah, and, you know, you've got a little of the Leonis going on, you know, this this stuff. I love that in order to keep Ken in his place, Leone, like, ties the, the, the two Brits to, you know, the back of his, the, the back of the couch, and you know, only if Ken is sitting on the couch do they not, you know, fall. That's, yeah, that's funny. And Macker, with his little problem, is a ton of fun. You know, there, there at the end, man, I was like, I, I mean, we got our first gold record, baby. Oh, man, yeah, it's going great. And I'm getting breast implants. <laughs> great. Man, could just, you know what, go out there, and, and Ken's like, oh, my, my nose, I'm gonna need a tissue, and Macker's like, I've got one, you know what, I'm good, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, just, and the character interplay in general was a lot of fun. Now, the, and, and I mean, the truth is just so much fun, every, every single time, you know, and... I gotta say, my favorite mother has got to be Mike Torino. James Woods as just, you know, even before you find out that he's CIA, you know, when he's just so... I love when, like, you get into the car and that that other guy, the, you know, of, of the two, it was Mike and then that other, that other guy. You know, the other guy gets up behind you and, you know, strains and it's like, you know, I, I know you're, you know, you, you thought you had a strict, huh? And you just, I don't think, ah, I'm just, you know, I just had to test you, you know. And then Mike walks up, so, you two done playing in there? <laughs> that's awesome, that's just, that's, yeah, you know. And, you know, you stop, you know, you take down the helicopter, of course Mike's not in it. He's, he's CIA, the, you know, faking deaths is part of their M.O. So it's it's one of the things they do really really well. So you meet back up with him, and he keeps contacting you through the the radio these these like radio t transmission towers or whatever, and 
you know, CJ gets so fed up with it, and he's like, Dude, stop doing that! CJ, I am always watching, or listening, or both. That's just awesome. And the, all the CIA stuff, you know, I can't do it, because at any given time, I have five guys watching me, okay? Two Russians, and a Cuban double agent, and two FBI guys, you know. Everyone is watching no one, watching everyone, you know, something like that. I'm messing up the line, but it's just, it's fantastic. And, yeah, James Woods is both funny and just really convincing as the, you know, the CIA guy who was, you know, deep undercover with the, the gang. It's, I love when he's, like, reading history and he's like, I can't believe these jokers. They think that Hitler killed himself. Whatever, whatever helps you guys sleep at night, okay, yeah. And, and, you know, the whole thing with him using sweet as a bargaining ship, you know, is like, you know, he's, you know, he's in the cell between two psychopaths, so how are you keeping him safe? Oh, don't worry, if anybody, you know, touches him, what was it, that, that prison guard, you know, find, I don't know, something, I don't remember exactly what he was threatening to do with him, but, yeah, and, you know, the, the plane thing where he's like, you know, CJ's like, are you sure that this plane is safe? I can see daylight through the, what was it, the, the, yeah, the ground floor of this thing. Don't worry, in that thing you'll look like an enthusiast. The US Air Force will be less likely to shoot you down. Then what's the problem? I said less likely. If you did as many methamphetamines as these guys do, you'd be lucky not to shoot anything that moves. Oh man, just just use the the, the you know the, the mountains as cover, you'll be fine. That mission is awesome. Having to constantly, you know, you gotta stay low to the ground, you gotta move in between tall stuff. Awesome. And it, it makes sense, you know, it's it's radar, so if you're sticking out, if you're far up off, you know, obviously they're gonna know you're there, and then they send a couple of, you know, they'll, they might send a jet on you for each time that you're too close to the, you know, and fire at least one rocket at you, so, you know, it, it took a bit of practice for me to get that one, but it was fun, you know, I, I maybe would have preferred it to be an optional mission. I certainly definitely would have preferred the one where you got to steal that what's it, Hydra jet thing. Yeah. Either that or at least split it up into two, but but anyway. Yeah, just a ton of fun and, you know, and and yeah, you get back with the Hydra to switch missions here and he's like, "Okay, Mike, where do you want this thing?" What what thing? I don't know what you're talking about. It's, you stole it. Just you you deal with it. Bye. <laughs> And, and then finally he goes, you know, okay, Carl, I have just one more favor to ask of you. And, and Carl's like, what? What is it now? You know, and Mike's like, okay, come on. You know, we both know you're not going to just put down the gun, you know. I just, I have a little surprise for you. And he just barely says that. And the phone rings because it's CIA. You know, they're watching and listening to everything. So, of course, they know the exact moment to call the phone. And, you know, oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's Sweet who gets out, and he's like, I, just, I was just released, so, yeah, if you can come pick me up, you know, that, that whole thing, yeah, that was, that was good stuff. And the, let's see, I suppose that more or less covers it. I love Woozy. The whole thing with, you know, the first time, you know, you, know, you don't necessarily even think about it. He's got the shades, he's got the, the cane, you know, I think it's a girl next to him, like, you know, like walking arm in arm. And you're like, you know, oh, sure, no big deal. And, you know, you race with him and he's like, you know what, you impress me, hit me up sometime. And, you know, you go on a mission, you know, and, and the guy says, you know the guy's blind, right? What do you mean? I, he was racing. Yeah, he's you know, he does things sometimes, but he is blind. You know, and CJ walks in there, and and Woozy's walking, and CJ's like, <laughs> that is so friggin' wrong. That is so tasteless and so funny, you know. And and the whole thing with you know, and, and Woozy's like, you know, what? don't worry about it. I can find a way. And he's like, 
that did not used to be there. CJ, come on, you know, and he accidentally walks into a guy and he's like, you know what, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there, sir. We'll see, he's dead, all of them are dead, what happened here? Yeah. The whole thing, and, and finally, Woozy's like, okay, you're, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm blind. Well, duh! Yeah, that whole thing. Look, I, I can't, you know, I can't be swimming, and, and you know, Carl's like, you know, if you go into the mission before the. Yeah, I think it's if, if you go into the mission, try to activate the mission, and you can't swim, you know, you don't have the lung capacity yet. You know, he'll, you know, Carl will just be like, you know, I, I can't do it. Like, I was swimming off the San Maria when I was a kid. A condom stuck to my face. <laughs> that is just disgusting. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to swim either if that, yeah. So, <laughs> and, and you've got that whole thing of, you know, yeah, and, and in that, you know, after he says he can't swim well enough for that mission, you know, Woozy like beats him in in the you know in the video game. He's like, "How do you do that?" <laughs> it's gotta be humiliating losing to you know a blind guy. It, yeah, and and the, you know and and when he you know they've got the you know they're they're working on the robbery and you know all this stuff with ah crap. What was the blind joke? Yeah, yeah. The you know Carl's like okay. The thing we refer is here, and Lucy's like, "Are you pointing again?" <laughs> oh, sorry, force of habit. <laughs> you know, and and like in a in a span of a couple of missions of of that, you know, everyone's just like, "I'm like, I picked this place so that we wouldn't have a bunch of gawking eyes." Everybody out. Okay, why aren't you going? I'm the janitor. I live here. Oh. You can stay then, or, or I work one of them, you know, and, yeah, the, the, and, and the, the other guy, I wish they had had more of the other Asian, you know, crime lord, the one who speaks entirely in grunts, and sometimes has to be translated, I love that guy, with just an, and, and, you know, uh, uh, he, he thinks that you're, you know, he doesn't think that you're being serious. You have stuff like this, and he, he'll communicate entire sentences just by these brief grunts. Because he's, he's so old and so, you know, he's, he's, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And as I mentioned in the review, I mean, of course, Sam Jackson as Tenpenny with the, you know, yeah, just every everything with him. You know, the bit where... He and Pulaski and that third guy drive you out into the middle of nowhere. Or, yeah, they, they meet you in the middle of nowhere. You went there yourself. And it's like, okay, look. What is it? I think Carl is, like, digging a grave. And then, you know, Pulaski's, like, there. And I think Tenpenny grabs the shovel and knocks the third cop over the back of the head. And, you know, because he's a snitch. And the whole thing, yeah. And, you know, CJ's back at the start of the game, and they're like, you already killed Frank Pendlebury, didn't you? You're very busy. You know, I just got off the plane. And, you know, obviously they did it, and gradually, you know, the authorities discover that as well. You know, David Cross as Zero, so much fun, you know, so whiny, and so... David Cross is one of those guys who can portray a nerd where it's not grating, and... It's it's really really funny. He's he's done a lot of performances. I really like. I I loved him on the Drew Carey show as the somewhat psychopathic. You know, Drew, Drew Carey like has to fire him, and he's like, you know, my my mom said that God never closes a door without opening a window. Oh, my mom used to say, close that damn door, or I will throw you out the window. That, that's just, that's funny right there, and, and, what do you even say to that, you know, poor Drew. So, so yeah, the, the whole thing with, you know, all this stuff about the rivalry between him and, 
I don't remember the other guy, but you know, they've each got this this model plane thing going, you know, and they're trying to destroy each other, you know, you know, remote control planes with with guns taking out, and you know, it culminates in you know having to escort his you know, his, his sports car, miniature sports car, past, you know, all these tanks and, excuse me, across bridges that you have to build and you've got to move out, you know, excuse me, move, you know, stuff out of the way and all this stuff, you know, yeah. I suppose that might more or less cover it. But yeah, just in general, love these characters and this dialogue and all this stuff. I love how they keep insisting early on, it, especially Ryder maybe, that Carl's a buster, you know, that, uh, yeah. And please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.